in my dream for so long hope it don't really go wrong i'm just freestyling on a beat hoping you could really conversate with me i clearly just want to be the man for you you can see that i've been trying to go this chatter together oh yeah 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 and i'm down for whatever oh no no trying to grow up this chatter mm -hmm, no. i'm trying to be together and when I get the love in you, so hard, so hard, you don't know how to think. Oh, money commando, if you're watching this, sing, sing in your intro, nigga. Sing in your intro, nigga. Let's see if you better than me. Not just playing all of the money commando, but if you want to do that, go ahead. But anyways, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man, and today we are Kendrick Lamar makes first public appearance since beef with Drake at Compton College graduation. <laughs> oh, that nigga Kendrick love the kids. Not like that, not like Drake, but. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, that uh, that's some good stuff, bro. It's good to good to see this, man. Um, anyways, let's go ahead, look at this appearance, and get to the video. You did. I still believe in Compton. Compton always been the future for me. Mm. I think we breed some of the most incredible individuals, creators, intellectuals, uh, talent. We had it since day one. I, that's why I always screamed this city. I've traveled the world. There's no place like this one right here. No place. Oh man, so that boy K Dot, Kendrick Lamar made his first public appearance since the rap beef at Compton College's graduation in the game. The oh yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I almost forgot. Make sure to go subscribe to Yum Statue. Yeah, like his video, subscribe. My bad, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. It was a cool little speech, man. Take it away, K Dot. Just to tell y'all how much I appreciate y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of the city of Compton. I'm proud of Compton College. Most importantly, I'm proud of the graduates out here. You know? That's right. I know what it takes. You know, y'all had a lot of hardship, not only in your house, mm -hmm. in your communities, mm -hmm. but most importantly, within yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's the toughest thing to overcome. And we still growing day by day, brick by brick, making sure that we develop not only in the physical form, but in the spiritual as well, you know? So, seeing y'all out here is not only a representation of the world, but it's a representation of me. And when I walk out in these cities and these, these, these countries, I could be proud and say, this is where I'm from, you know? I still believe in Compton. Compton always been the future for me. I think we breed some of the most Incredible individuals, creators, intellectuals, uh, talent. We had it since day one. I, that's why I always screamed this city. Hey, man, W. Kendrick, man. No cap. I see you cut off some dreads. Uh, shit was looking ass back back then when, when you was rapping on a... But it might have been free form. They might have been... I don't know. But, yeah, it's, it's good he... Talking good about his community, coming back, you know, showing the graduates love. That's good, bro. I've traveled the world. There's no place like this one right here. Mm. No place. No place. And I still believe, I still believe in everything that we're doing. Brick by brick, I still believe. It's time that we change the narratives. You know, some people tell us, you know, this generation they don't have what it takes. Gen Z, we talk about it all day. They try to pull us down and say we don't know what we're doing. They wrong though. You know why? Because not only y'all have what it takes, but y'all have something even bigger. Y'all have the heart. Y'all had the courage to be independent thinkers. Independent thinkers. It's nothing more valuable than that. Y'all can go out here and tell and express your thoughts and say it with conviction and passion and stand on it and be unapologetic about it. And somebody pull you to the side, you know what? You was wrong about that. And you could be like, I appreciate it. You know? Or they could say, I appreciate you for giving me the wisdom and the courage to be just as much as in depth and, 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 and you know, strong with conviction about the message that you have. And it spreads not only between the person you're talking to, 
but subconsciously through kids that's younger than yourselves. And that's something I can always appreciate. This degree that y'all have right here is just as big as any degree. I don't care what school, I don't care what institution, Compton College, this Compton degree is just as big. Now it's all about taking these resources and taking what you learned and applying them. It's simple as that, and applying them. You go have hardships, you go have tribulations just as you had coming up here. But guess what? You got somebody special behind your corner and all around you, and that's God. Period. Period. Speak on it, Kendrick. What did he say right there? You always have somebody behind your corner and all around you, and that's God. And that's the main thing that keeps me going every single day. Last night, I had to pray. You know, I'm not going to speak on, you know, a lot of things that happened last night, but I just, man, to my knees praying, you know, getting, making sure that I'm good within myself. Man, God is the, you know, for, for all the people who don't believe in him, or this is not about YouTube, this is not about religion aspect, this, this is just how I feel, feel that God has opened up a lot of doors in my life, and I thank him to this day. I pray this morning, thank him for everything he's done for me, man. Just everything. Period. Every step of the way, when you fall and you have your shortcomings, he's right there. When you have your victories, he's right there. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time to grow and appreciate it because he's growing with you. Every individual out here is experiencing a human life, a human experience, and God is experiencing it with you. So when you go through things, he's going with it. He's right there with you. He's talking to you. All you got to do is talk back. I walk on the beach every day, and I'm talking to God. I'm just talking. Like he the homie, I swear to God, I put that on my grandmama grave. Mm -hmm. I talk to him next to me. Like the homie. Just like the people that you grow up with, you, I don't care if you got a curse, you, you got a cuss, you, got, you talk to him as if you know him since you was born, the way he knows you. It's the truth. It's the truth. So I want y'all to go out here, celebrate yourselves, Enjoy yourself, but keep that spirit within you. Because it don't stop from here. It don't stop. I love y'all. And uh, I hope we continue to spread, spread this love out here. I appreciate y'all. My love. Yeah. Okay, so man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. I talk to God the same way, like that's the homie. Because it is the homie, you feel me? But other than that, man, bruh, if you guys haven't heard, on June Teeth, Kenji Lamar is having a Ken and Friends concert, and it's going crazy with the reactions to it. Mm -hmm. First of all, you guys just imagine, and it's, it's happening in LA at the forum. Everyone is expecting that man to perform, not like us. All them people just waiting to hear for the first time live. That's going to be crazy. But the numbers he's doing right now in anticipation, the LA forum only holds 20,000 people. It's 100,000 people over 100,000 people waiting in queue to get tickets for this concert. <sighs> damn. God damn. But hey, though, that's the latest. Appreciate you, Yim Stacky. Yim Stacky, I appreciate you for that. But yeah, I know you ain't going to be talking about nothing. That, but 100,000? Y'all waiting just like me? <laughs> that's a good man, motherfuckers. I love y'all. Kendrick family, man. But yeah, this is the difference between Kendrick and Drake post battle. Drake it goes on two songs that ooh Kendrick's point about him using the culture. Mm. Look at him. Look at him. Yep, yep. Kendrick popping like he running a president of hip hop. You're funny. Drake wouldn't do a commencement speech because the ladies are too old for him. Ugh. This is how you who move after a huge beat. Exactly. Move like a, you know, move like you got some sense, man. But anyways, I ain't gonna speak on what Drake, you know, talking about mm, or dude in that song. I ain't even like the song when I heard it. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. It's your boy OGT Main signing out. Yiddick.